and to relax me right here. Distressing all some keto chocolate. Mm. Mm, it's coming to an end but it's me again this is what my muffins are looking like i am here hello hello good morning guys good morning <laughs> i'm trying to be up and ready and just i don't know i went to bed late i got up early but i still just felt like i was not ready to move forward with my day so i continued to lay in bed and was in and out of sleep whenever i go to bed late that's normally how i operate and behave and i definitely want to change that i want to follow the impulse when i wake up early and just start my day if i ever go back in bed after i wake up early and go to the bathroom it's it's a wrap i never i just never stay awake except for this one time when i did and so i want to continue doing that but it has just been very much so a very busy week and it today's thursday by the way is and i'm up i'm dressed for my morning walk these are some fabletics leggings really cute and just like this very bedazzled top that i normally wear to work out so i haven't vlogged in a couple of days and there's something in my eye or on my lashes but the sunscreen is on my hand so I'm like very reluctant to touch my eyes because the sunscreen burns but um I have a few things to do today and I thought you guys may spend a day with me it's probably not gonna be like an exciting day with me but I thought I would bring you guys along with me and we could do some chores some things together because come on we're adults you know we have chores like what <laughs> and I still haven't gotten help yet to help me with these chores so I'm currently setting things in place so that I can do that and I'm not gonna take my vlogging camera with me on my morning walk but I might sorry if my voice is just kind of like froggy <laughs> but I might do some footage with my iPhone yeah i'm i'm ready to go and i don't want to stay here and babble it's just been a a, a a very long morning since 5 a.m it's like it's probably like after eight right now let's see what the time is it's 7 49 now and i'm still trying to move my <laughs> so let's let's get these shoes on and let's go on this walk yes girl <laughs> Jason Stevens and welcome 
to this way was self-improvement, guided meditation. I'm about to take you now on a journey of relaxation, visual imagery, and pure visualization, where you will journey in an instant to a far-off place, enjoy exotic, vibrant, and compelling images. as like, like a daily devotional, sort of, kind of. Looking kind of rough on camera right now. But um, this is my face. Today it says, dreams can give you a wonderful insight into your current vibrational state of being. Your recall of a dream is your physical translation of blocks of non-physical thought that you have interacted with in your dream state. When you sleep, you re-emerge into your energy of non-physical and you have conversations not conversations in words, but vibrational ones. Then as you are awakening, you translate that block of thought back into its physical equivalent. That's good to know, because I've been having lots of dreams and lots of dream experiences. So it's good to know. So I've done my processes my morning processes, that is, my morning spiritual processes, that is. And now I'm going to give myself a facial because I missed my facial a couple days ago. Let me get into brighter light so that I can talk to you guys. I don't know if I like wanted to share my morning routine with you guys, but that is it. Ooh, my skin. She's not doing great. I am going to go into some skincare. Currently, the only thing that's on my face is the e.l.f. Hydration Balancing Toner. Let's see what it's called. Keep Your Balance Toner. I just use that as an essence onto my skin. It looks like this. Yeah, I'm going to do some skincare because I did not do my weekly, like, facial. And then I'm going to get into the rest of my day. I wanted to give you guys an update on the gel nail polishes that I bought. This is what it looks like on. It has that kind of like milky texture to it, which is good. I think I could have made it a little bit more opaque, but I'm good with this. It's been holding my nails together. My nails feel a little bit stronger and it's been like two or three days off this and it looks it looks good i like how it looks it looks good i didn't make it the most opaque as you can see but and then my hair this is perm rod curls like two days in uh, my hair doesn't hold them because i didn't straighten my hair before i put the perm rods in but as you can see there's a few curls that still kind of like hold their position this is just what i'm working with today or this week is just my fro out and sometimes i like to just have my fro out all i need to do is just spray it down with water and spray it with this spray that i got let me show you the spray that i use on my hair you know i love Ma maui moisture products this is what i use on my hair i think this is good for like daily use so i just spray it with my little water bottle spritzer just to keep it hydrated and moisturized and then I spray it with this just to give it a nice little sheen a little shine so I'm gonna get into my facial and then I might show you guys my everyday skincare routine I might I just feel like I'm still a little bit behind on my day and I'm trying not to just feel all that tension and just trying to get on with it you know if you're wondering about the color in my hair I colored my hair 
maybe over a year ago trying to get it read because I was inspired by Jamie in Outlander. Jamie and his daughter, Brianna, their hair is just red and pretty and I was just like, I need red hair. I'm such an Outlander fan. I need red hair like Jamie. So I tried a color. It didn't give me the color like Jamie's, but I'm going to try again and hopefully I can get that nice, ginger red but redder than just a ginge you know that jamie red yeah i'm in love with jamie and the actor that plays jamie <laughs> ah and kate oh my gosh i love kate i so identify with kate as a woman that's the kind of woman that i am very out there okay so i'm gonna get into my skincare so talk to you guys soon okay guys so this is what my skin's looking like right now it's a little bit dry i cleansed my skin with my normal clinique cleanser this one is for combination to oily skin that's the formula that i have i also used my daily micro exfoliant from dermalogica so now that my skin is just like a little bit dry what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some moisture back into my skin but before i do that i'm going to tone my complexion a little bit i'm going to take my clarifying lotion which is a part of my base skincare and i'm just going to get some of that on a cotton ball and i am just going to tone the skin I'm going to take the soft side because it has a coarse and an exfoliating side. I'm just going to go over my eyes. I don't like to go over my eyes with the hard side because it kind of scrapes my eyelids. I'm also going to go underneath the eye as well, get the lips, you know. This is the Niacinamide Brightening Toner from Good Molecules. I'm just going to press that into the skin as if it is a essence. Just like so, it's on the lip. And this one is infused with vitamin C. So really good for brightening the complexion. And then I also do the same with my Keep Your Balance Toner from e.l.f. Okay, so now my complexion is just like a little bit brighter, a little bit more toned, nice and bouncy. So I'm going to go in with some skincare. I am taking my Discoloration Correcting Serum from Good Molecules and I'm just going to drip and drop that all over my face. Drop that in. And I am a little bit like rushing because my day started a little bit late. So getting my skincare done real quick. Then I'm going to go in with this vitamin C serum from The Ordinary. I just take about that much. I rub it on the tip of my fingers and I just tap it all over the face. And then I blend it in like so. Good, good. Then I go in with my niacinamide. Been using this for years. Same. I just make two big drops because, like I said, I'm in a hurry. Not like in a hurry, but I just want to start my day and get into clothes and out of my robe, you know? Lots to do today. So after niacinamide, we go in with some hyaluronic from The Ordinary as well. Nothing new here. If you watch my skincare video, you would see that I've been using this for a while. Nice little moment. I almost want to slow things down and relax. So I normally go in with this uh, moisturizer, which is my Dramatically Different Moisturizer for combination to oily skin. But I've been trying to get this little bit from the bottom out. I've been unsuccessful. So I'm just going to go in with this silicone free priming moisturizer from Good Molecules. A little pump and a half of that, just like that. And we're just going to rub that in to moisturize the skin. And Oftentimes, I bring my moisturizer all the way down to my neck. And then I'm going to just go in with this little bit of the Moisture Surge from Clinique. Just a little bit. So I'm just going to rub that all over the skin as well. Now, I normally do two moisturizers, which I mean, I just did two. Maybe sometimes I do two and three and four. The moisturizer that I oftentimes use is the Holy Hydration Moisturizer from e.l.f. 
but that is currently, I don't have that. I have the Holy Hydration Moisturizer with um, SPF 30, which my camera is currently on right now. And it has hyaluronic acid and peptide complex in there. That's the one that I'm feeling for today. But before I do that, I'm gonna go in with my eye cream. This one is from Pacifica. You guys know that I love Pacifica products. Mm. Oh, nice little so under eye cream always to relax me so lovely nice oh let me just put this down because it has SPF 30 in there. I also use the Shiseido broadband with SPF 50 in here. Both are great. I just like how this kind of soaks in the skin and this is one of my favorite moisturizers minus the SPF. I just bought the one with the SPF because Ulta was out. How dare them be out of the regular one. So this is what my skin looks like. Lovely, hydrated, nice, clean, beautiful, gorgeous, bushy. Yeah, mm. now I just need to moisturize my lips. But while I'm here talking, just giving myself a little gasha action. A little, especially because I'm very tight right here. Mm. Oof. I really benefit from keeping this gasha in this medicine cabinet because when it's in my skincare drawer, I barely ever use it to use it like regularly even if it's only for like a minute or so is quite beneficial that is some skin i am dressed and ready for the day i have some amazon packages that came in that i wanted to share with you guys just in case you've been looking for these same items that i picked up from amazon and I just thought sharing is caring. You know, I love to unbox something because I love what's inside. Not the actual act of unboxing, but the item that I actually bought. <laughs> so let's get into this and see what is in here. Now, I didn't buy any like fashion items. I just picked up household items because you guys know I'm a whole body and I, I like to get stuff for my home. Okay, so I stacked up on like a package of panty liners. I don't care what gynecologists say. Like if there's not a panty liner in my underwear, it's just it's just not a good day, okay? I need panty liners. They keep me dry, they keep me comfortable. Listen, I wash my clothes in a public laundry mat and I'm going to protect myself. So I wear these every single day and that's just that. That works for my when I don't wear panty liners is when my starts, you know, acting up. So I keep that on deck all the time because panty liners, thank you. <laughs> why am I being so defensive? I don't even know why. So I use the Jason's toothpaste and I've been using Jason's non fluoride toothpaste all natural toothpaste for years and years and years on end. Until I recently found out that Jason also makes toothpaste that has fluoride in it. And I'm just like, I can't trust a company who does that. You know, I can't trust a company who makes non-fluoride toothpaste and fluoride toothpaste. Because it, it not makes sense. Like, decide, which, which side are you on? Because if I'm not mistaken, isn't fluoride the same chemical that was used to sedate the people in the concentration camp by Hitler? I'm not gonna say the J word, but you know. So why should I be putting that in my body? Okay, I am really defensive for some reason. I don't know why. I think I took a long time getting ready this morning and I feel like I'm a little mad at myself. So let me just like shake it off. <laughs> long 
long story, <laughs> but let's let's make it short. So I picked up the native toothpaste. This one is charcoal and mint. It looked like this. It's fluoride free and whitens teeth. It seems to have some good ingredients in here. It looks like that. So it's not like dark, dark charcoal. So it's not gonna like get your sink all like black and stuff. It smells nice. Smells minty, minty fresh. So I'm gonna test this out and see how it works because I want to get off of that Jason's toothpaste because Jason, you fooled me for a long time. I just don't trust you anymore. Okay, so I've been wanting to get myself a nice, like, mauvey, pinky robe, a silk one, just to lounge around in the house to shoot, like, beauty videos with, stuff like that. So I thought that I would pick up this one. Ooh, this is nice. Ooh, just a simple silk robe. Nothing too special, it just looks like this. I thought the hands were longer than that. It cuts off here, let's see what this looks like. Okay, oh, but it barely covers me up. I don't know if I needed a bigger size in this, but this barely covers me up. Maybe I need to size up or I need to return this because, okay, that's that's a no, but I tried. My zero calorie among food sweetener. If you guys don't already know, I am keto and I am going to be Baking. I thought I would pick up this monk fruit powder to, ooh, it is a powder, to make keto icing like, ooh, wow, that's good. I am going to be making icing today. So remember I was telling you guys that I have that little bit of moisturizer at the bottom of my Clinique moisturizer bottle that I couldn't get out. So I got these little like spatulas to let like, get it out. And I think these would be useful around the house for skincare, makeup, and like kitchen just to wrap things at the bottom of bottles that you can't reach. I think that this will get in there and like get that up. I also have like a lipstick that I love my favorite lipstick from Lancome. It's called Groupie. I topped it up over this ColourPop like brown lipstick. It's coming to an end, but there's still product in there that I want to get out whilst the one that I'm going to order come. So I'm thinking that one of these little spatulas could possibly like get it up instead of like getting that under my nails or getting my fingers all messy because you know my whole like makeup counter storage situation is white and I do my makeup over there so I don't want to get my fingers fingers dipped in there and touching everything and just like it's best to just have like one of these on deck to just get in there scoop it up blah 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 I thought these were cute and they would be useful around the house to do all sorts of different kind of things I don't know cook I don't know I don't know but I needed one because that moisturizer there my friend it's very expensive and so I'm gonna get every last bit of it. So that's all I got from Amazon. Um, I don't know. I feel very aggressive today. And I feel like it's because I haven't eaten and it's like after one. So I have my soup on the stove heating up. I meal prep and I want to start with a soup today. I'm going to have a salad with that and some water to keep myself hydrated and just a little bit kinder and not like I want to kill everyone because that's how I get when I don't eat. And oftentimes I don't connect my feeling to that, but that's exactly what it is. And this is the construction that I'm telling you about and I can't close my window because like I tell you guys, I do not have AC and so I need fresh air to come in and circulate in the apartment so that I can stay cool. And now that the temperature is dropping in LA, I love this kind of cool air to just come in and keep me nice and cool because I still haven't ordered that mini AC situation yet because I can't wrap my finger around which one to get because the one that seemed to have good ratings when I look at it I hope you guys are hearing my voice more prominent than this sound when I check the ratings the ratings are skewed because the seller has another item listed with the item that has nothing to do with like the item that I'm interested in so under the reviews are reviews about this other item 
and the the mini AC, which I don't I don't understand how Amazon haven't haven't caught on to that and like do something about it because that's cheating really so i'm and then the ones that i really like they're not allowed to be shipped to california california has so many rules it's ridiculous i'm just going to have my breakfast or my lunch or whatever because my fasting ends at 12 which is why i didn't eat today but i did do a power walk this morning and really got it good um, so maybe that's why I'm really hungry because normally I don't get like starving hungry on keto but I think because I really I really applied myself this morning on my morning walk I think that's why I'm really hungry right now so I'm just going to wait for that to heat up and eat and just be a nicer more decent person in the world positivity all the way I'm here in the kitchen and I thought that I would show you guys what I eat. It's gonna be keto since, I mean, I am vegan and keto. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm having for lunch right now because as you can see, my eyes are a little droopy and I can't focus because I'm starved. This is what I have for my lunch. I have a salad with a base that is arugula. I've got cucumbers, tomatoes, avocado. I've got some fried tofu in here. And on top, I've got nutritional yeast, some hemp seeds, and some black sesame seeds. I've also got some tahini just drizzled all over here. And with that, I also have myself some miso soup. This is my homemade miso soup just tofu ginger soy sauce garlic some seaweed i've got green onions in here just nice and warm and simple soup and then i make my own homemade dressing here this is a base of avocado and lemon juice i've got garlic in here red pepper flakes garlic powder i've got paprika black pepper salt and ginger powder in here just nice and simple most of it settles to the bottom but I just drizzle a very generous amount over my salad and I'm good to go so like I said I just drizzle a lot of this dressing all over because I just want you guys to know keto is low carb it is not low calorie so I do actually I don't even know how much calories I take in every day I just do what works well for my body and just I try not to even have any carb at all and if I do have carb because these tofu I have cornstarch on them so that they're a little bit more crispy so maybe not even seven grams of net carbs in my entire meals every single day I just try to keep that as low as possible yeah so that's my first meal of the day and I guess I'll show you guys what else I have throughout the day I guess that would be a, a way to do this video because I just started the vlog all willy-nilly I, I never really had like a concept I just thought I would share my skincare the stuff that I got on Amazon and now I guess I'm gonna share my meals so I'll catch you guys soon after I finish lopping this down catch you guys in a minute I am here trying to keep my head afloat trying to do some business stuff trying to figure out Facebook ads and how to create ads on Facebook. I'm currently watching this guy here. He seems like he knows what he's talking about and he's very knowledgeable. So I've been at my desk working for an hour. I think I, it's time for me to take a break. I've been wanting to, let me just put this guy on a pause. I've been wanting to make these zucchini muffins as a dessert for my daily meals and I haven't had dessert all freaking week and that's annoying and I have a pimple on my face which I don't normally get pimples that big or that like you know like these pimples that like hurt i don't know what that's all about but okay come get me skincare <laughs> so i'm going to head into the kitchen and i'm going to make a reel of me making these zucchini zucchini chocolate muffins and yeah i think that's what i'm gonna do right now yeah that's what i'm gonna do right now i'll probably have you guys like watch me create the reel as well as make the muffins 
So let's go do that. Okay guys, so a little rain check on making that muffin like right this minute because I do not have coconut oil and I need coconut oil to make it. I do have vegan butter, so I need to get that butter at like room temperature before I can actually make the muffins because I'm definitely not gonna go out to the grocery store right now to go pick up anything. I just wanna be inside. I don't know why, I just wanna be inside. But since we're here, I'm definitely gonna have a snack. This is my chia seed pudding that I make. Like I said, I meal prep for keto because it makes it easier for me. So the base of my chia seed pudding is vegan protein powder and coconut milk. And then I add the chia seeds. Normally I make different flavors from matcha to chocolate to just vanilla. I like to switch it up just to make these tasty. On top of this, I have in here some coconut flakes. I've got cacao nibs. I've got some, some keto chocolate in here as well. And underneath all of that, I've got some hemp seeds. It's a nice portion size and it's pretty good and it's nice and sweet from the protein powder which the protein powder that I use is the Orgain protein powder. It has the green lid. Yeah, that's what I use and I really enjoy this. Now you can see the hemp seeds now that I've moved it around a little bit. I'm just gonna have this as a snack and then do some more work and then go make the muffins and make the reel and hopefully by then the construction next door will kind of settle down a little bit because it's kind of doing too much right now and i'm not really having it mm. Mm. after adding protein powders for my milk for my chia seed puddings i'll never go back to just straight milk it's just more protein it lasts longer and it just tastes so much better because it just tastes so much better i'll catch you guys on the flip side hey guys how you doing it's me again i've kind of refreshed my makeup i've changed my shirt because i like to keep it nice and professional on my foodstagram page i love it when i look like a lady and not like i'm lounging i just wanted to share with you guys all of the ingredients for the muffin that i'm going to be making now the oven have started and it is hot already in here so let me go ahead and show you all the ingredients just in case you were wondering and you wanted to see the brands what i use etc this is all that i'm going to be putting into this muffin i've got some zucchini here i've got monk fruit mixed with erythritol i've got some coconut flour back here some almond flour i've got cacao nibs i got coconut powder i've got some really overpriced keto chocolate chips which i've started eating overpriced but delicious but overpriced i've got some baking soda some baking powder butter and salt now this recipe called for coconut oil but i do not have coconut oil so i'm just going to substitute with this plant-based butter and that is all that's going to be going in there oh my gosh the oven is hot so i've got to get this started okay guys so i'm gonna place you guys on my tripod here and i'm going to try to crack on with this reel and see if i can make this before all the lighting goes down and daylight is no longer a thing okay so let me just crack you on to the tripod I'm looking for my little mount here and get on with this okay let me it's been maybe over an hour or so maybe a little bit more the muffins came out of the oven and i wanted to show you them they still haven't cooled yet they're not the prettiest but they're delicious okay so let's let's see so this is what my muffins are looking like right now they're looking delicious but they have sunken in and the cake brownie looks like that it's still hot so i'm just gonna wait for that to cool down i'm going to heat up my dinner for the night ready for me to eat okay because 
It's 7.22. Oh, so I didn't mention to you guys, not only am I keto, but I am intermittent fasting as well. So I started eating at 12 and I stopped eating at 8. So that's going on as well, which was why I was so irritable this morning because I've been skipping out on dessert for my fasting and that never works out for me. The best part of keto is dessert, no doubt about it. Not that I don't make, deli I make really delicious food, but I need that to keep my blood sugar up, you know what I mean? I definitely need the dessert to keep me afloat and just keep me in good mood and good spirits or else I just need something sweet at the end of every day. Keto or no keto, like if not... <sighs> Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I made for my main course. Let me just give you guys a breakdown of that before I throw it into the pot to heat up and it just disintegrates and look totally different from what it looks like now. This is a very high fat, low carb dinner. Let me grab a fork here so that I can show you guys. What I do is just that I saute lots of vegetables in one pot all together with lots of olive oil, lots of flavoring, lots of seasonings. I've got Brussels sprouts in here. I've got mushrooms, eggplant, carrots, I've got edamame, onions. There's so much goodness in here, just a one pot situation. And what I do is I heat this up in the evening on the stove. I add nutritional yeast and avocado on top and some hemp seeds. And I oftentimes drizzle a little bit more olive oil onto this, which makes it extremely high fat and extremely keto and gets you in ketosis real quick. So so I'm gonna throw that into the pot. That is currently in the pot heating up. I would love to have one of these muffins at the end of the night before 8 p.m. Hopefully tomorrow is a new day. I just feel so pressed for time on everything, guys. I'm so sorry that I am just so like anxious and like <sighs> that's because I've got a lot going on behind the scenes, I promise you. I'm really trying to give you guys good positive content that is not filled with negativity and just, you know, things that just irk. I'm really trying my best, but it's just one of those days where I'm just... So I'm going to settle down. I'm going to finish off editing my reel. I just created a reel. It's not even the food reel, just another reel for my Saudi B Instagram. And I'm going to just edit that. And editing normally calms me down and gets me to focus on the task at hand. So I'm going to do that, wait for my food to heat up, eat that, have something sweet. And then I'm going to head to my open mic situation and possibly perform if my guitarist is there. If not, I'll just watch everybody else and support them and come back home and try to pack away all this like sweet treat stuff and try to put in at least an hour of editing of my business work. And then I shall be in bed hopefully by 10 30 11 p.m. the latest so that I can wake up refreshed and renewed and ready for the day because I do also have to take an evening shower I have to get my makeup off I got to do my skincare so hopefully I get home and do those before I do anything else because so I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope that I'm giving you guys good content here. I really want to do this, do this right. And I made points about what I want to present on my channel. And it's definitely positivity. But I'm only human and I'm definitely not perfect. And I have days where I'm just a little bit more irritable and irritated and anxious. And I'm definitely working on it. There's things that I do. I do meditate twice a day. And I do chant Nam Myo Ho Renge Kyo twice a day and I do my five minute journal. I do all these things to just, you know, keep myself afloat and keep myself in like good spirits. But even with that, things come up and I just have to deal with it moment by moment and try to manage my emotions so that I don't go off the rails. So while I manage and try my best not to get off the rails, um, I'm hoping that this 
was a awesome vlog for you guys I'm I don't think I'm going to continue this particular vlog vlog today since I already show you what I'm going to have for dinner and my dessert you guys already saw that so I'm going to have those off camera when everything is ready and I think I'm just going to end this vlog here I'm so happy and so glad that you guys stayed and watched till this point and I'm really happy that you guys are enjoying my vlogs and that you gather some value from it or entertainment or you learn something inadvertently just as a bystander watching some some lady on the internet just rambling running her mouth and really trying to maintain herself <laughs> and making delicious food while she's at it and looking wonderful and fabulous darling okay um so <laughs> So I think, like I said, I'm going to leave the vlog here. Follow me at my Saudi B page. This page is like my everyday page. It's mostly where all my friends are, my real life friends that are that I that I know in real life. But you can follow me there and interact with me. I would love to catch you over there. Yeah, and follow my food Instagram page, Cooking with Saudia. I don't know what else. Subscribe, like this video if you like it, and if you don't like it, still like it because it's just being nice. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Love you guys peace